Good morning, everybody. And happy feast of the Archangels, Saints Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. Today, the second day of Novena to the Feast of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, we offer the Mass for the repose of the soul of Christina Mary. That's my mother. And let's also pray for the repose of the souls of all the deceased members of our families. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today being the feast of uh, the Archangels, let's pray together the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great lonely King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who dispose in marvelous order ministries both angelic and human graciously grant that our life on earth may be defended by those who watch over us as they perpetually to you as they minister perpetually to you in heaven through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelations. War broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels battled against the dragon. The dragon and its angels fought back, but they did not prevail. And there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The huge dragon, the ancient serpent, who is called the devil and Satan, who deceived the whole world, was thrown down to earth. And its angels were thrown down with it. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come in the kingdom of our God and the authority of his anointed. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who accuses them before our God day and night. They conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. Therefore rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May your response be, 
In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. I will give you thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. In the, In the sight, sight of, of the, the angels, angels, I will sing, sing your praises, praises, O God. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called you, you answered me. You built up strength within me. In, In the, the sight, sight of, of the angels, angels I will, I will, praise sing, I will praise. sing your praises, Lord. All the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth, and they, and they shall sing of the ways of the Lord. Great is the glory of the Lord. In, in the, the sight, sight of, of the angels, angels I, I will praise you. Your, I will sing your praises, Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you angels, you minister who do his will. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree, you will see greater things than this. You will see the heavens opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. A happy feast of the archangels Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. My dear sisters and brothers, today we celebrate these archangels, three of them that stand before the presence of God, always at his service. You know, messengers are sent between countries, between individuals and parties. And today, as we celebrate these archangels, we celebrate that they are primarily messengers. And in a way, they also come across to me as messages in themselves. St. Michael, often shown with the sword and the shield, or sometimes with the lance, and I'm not enthused about that portrayal, reminds us that we are constantly at battle with the evil one, with the forces of evil one. And today, as we look around in our society, we realize that we 
continue to wage that war against institutionalized evil in so many forms in our own country and around the world. And so, as we fight against the evil one, the forces of evil, institutionalized evil, Michael reminds us that God overcomes evil with goodness. It's a sad portrayal with a sword and a shield or a lance, and yet the underlying message is that God is all holy, that God is all good, and nothing that is evil can approach God. And so, St. Michael is a messenger that carries to us from God this message that God is all good. St. Gabriel, the one who brings the good news to the mother and says, you've been chosen by God to be the mother of his son. Now, he reminds us that God is almighty, that God is all-powerful, that nothing is impossible for God. And at that, Mary would bow her head and say, I join hands with God. I align myself with the will of God. Here I am, the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done unto me according to your word. And finally, there is a Raphael. He is supposed to be the companion for our journey. We read about him in the book of Tobit, where he goes with the son, Tobias, and uh, assists him. And finally, he is able to cure the blindness of the head of the family, reminding us that God heals, that he cures, that God makes us whole, that God salves, he saves us, he renders all things new, he renews, he rejuvenates, he recreates, he breathes life into us. And so we have Michael reminding us that God is all good, all holy, all sacred. Gabriel telling us that God is all powerful, that nothing is impossible to, for God, and so we need to approach him with our prayers and petitions. And finally, whatever be the situation we find ourselves in, God can and will save us because he is one who makes all things new. He creates and recreates. He rejuvenates. He makes us come alive. He renews us always. And today, as we celebrate the second day to the novena, to the feast of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, we remember that the mother knew that God was all good, that God was all powerful, that God was all loving. And so, as we celebrate our mother, let's continue to celebrate what the angels tell us, God who is all good, God who is all powerful, and God who is all love. Please rise, if you're able, for the intercessions. For the Church of God, like the angels that serve and wait, she may always be at the service of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our nation that even as we fight the forces of evil through the intercession of St. Michael the Archangel, we will overcome all evil with good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our families who struggle on account of anxiety, depression, or broken hearts, whatever it be their situation, may they realize the message of Gabriel that God is all-powerful, that he reaches out to us, and that they may turn 
to the Lord for help and guidance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our community who are ill, that by the intercession of St. Raphael, they will be touched by the risen Lord and will come to new life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now pause to pray for the repose of the soul of the deceased members of our families. We pray. I invite you to pray for my parents, Christina Mary and Dore Somi, for whom this Mass is being offered, for Stella Jesidas, and for Mala Barnabas, and for Fabian Abeliana. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual food. By the mingling of this water and wine, may we share Christ's divinity, who humbled himself to share. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O Lord, humbly entreating that as these gifts are borne by the ministry of angels into the presence of your majesty, so we may receive them favorably and make them profitable for our salvation. And we pray that you bless my parents and Stella Jesidas and Mala Barnabas and Fabian Abeliana with eternal rest. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and the angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory. And by their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him the multitude of angels exalts your majesty, and we are united with them in exultant adoration as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Michael our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, the deceased members of our families whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grab that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her beloved spouse, with St. John Vianney, the Archangels, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may come to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let's sum up our prayers and petitions for the families of our parish community as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. 
Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. As you engage in spiritual communion, could I invite you to pray for the victims of the wildfire, especially the one raging in Napa Valley. We pray for those families and certainly for our first responders. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. In the presence of the angels, I will praise you. Let us pray. Having been nourished with this heavenly bread, we beseech you humbly, O Lord, that drawing it new strength, drawing from it new strength, under the faithful protection of the angels, we may advance boldly along the way of salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's conclude with a Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for praying with us today. And today happens to be the second anniversary of the passing away of my sister, Stella. Whisper a prayer for her. Have a wonderful day.